Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at comparison operators and how to use them. So let's get started. Okay, so comparison operators essentially compare uh, two or more things. Um, so uh, forgive my notes down here. My uh, These are the things I wanted to cover in this video. So, um, so let's take... Uh, let's create a variable called num1 equals 5, num2 equals 10. And by the way, if you're putting a number, you don't have to have brackets around it. I'm sure I've already mentioned that, but just in case. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement. Uh, if num1 is greater than num2, echo bigger else echo smaller so we'll save that oops and refresh our page and there we have it smaller so now if we were to switch that around we were to go 10 and 5 save that refresh it's going to say bigger so now uh, we could check to see if two numbers are equal. So we could do something like this. Um, we could say if num1 is equal, double equals compares the two, num2 echo same, else it's going to bother me echo not the same so same now if we're to change this to 11 not the same okay so we have covered that one um, we have covered let's cover less than now so if num1 is less than num2 echo less else echo more save and refresh less so num1 is in fact less than number two so if we were to change this to nine refresh we have more so what we could do now is we could do if num1 is not equal to num2 echo um we could do not the same else echo same because remember explanation mark in php equals not so not the same so now if they were both 10 we can refresh that and now we have same okay so that was a really quick rundown of um a, uh, of comparison operators. So now what I want to do, I kind of, in, in every tutorial, I kind of want to build off of what we've learned. And uh, in my experience, uh, if you use what you've learned in the previous videos or previous lessons, you're less likely to forget it. So let's actually go ahead and create an HTML document. We'll just name this tut. And we're going to create uh, an input form with two fields and a submit button. So input type equals name oops name uh <laughs> what am i doing here input type equals text there we go name equals name um actually we'll start with one input field and then input type equals submit we can delete the name Okay, uh, we need to also put the form action. So form action equals double quote tut.php because remember it has to be whatever page you want to process it and we named this tut.php method equals post. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out our form and let's uh, put a placeholder in here. Placeholder enter name. Save that and let's make sure it loaded okay. Yep, enter name. Let's put a line break here. Cool. 
Okay, so now we need to do uh, an if statement to check if it's been set. So if is set, bracket, oop, not is is set, if is set, brackets, dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quote, name, and not empty, brackets, dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quote, name, curly braces. We'll create a variable called name equals dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quote, name. And to make sure that that works, we will echo that out. So it echoed out Zach. So that's working. So now what we can do <clears throat> uh, within, okay, so within this, uh, within these two curly braces is where our code is going to go. Let me, let me actually show you what happens if it's not in there. So we're going to create a comparison operator. So what we're going to do is we're going to go if name double equals Zach echo hello uh, you know what we're actually going to uh, yeah we'll just say hello Zach I'll do something else after else curly braces echo who are you so refresh that so now because we didn't put that in the right place undefined variable name so now what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly move this up into here because remember uh, php runs line by line so we need to first make sure that that is filled out and not empty so once that is complete then it'll run this bit of code so now we won't get that error We still have the uh, echo on that. So refresh. Hello, Zach. Okay. So now if we were to type in Adam, who are you? So what we could do now is we could say if name is not equal to Zach, who are you? Else, hey, Good looking. Ref yeah, we'll just refresh it like that. Zach. Hey, good looking. We'll try Adam. Submit. Who are you? Now let's add one more. Uh, enter. So we're going to change this to number. Add a line break in there. Input type equals number, name equals number two, placeholder equals second, S-E-C-O-N-D, if I can spell, number, uh, and we'll add a line break. Okay, so the first one we will change to number as well. Name will be number one, uh, enter number, uh, first number. So we can go ahead and refresh. Nope, don't refresh it, just load it again. Okay, first number, second number. So now what we can do is we can check. Uh, so the first, here, we can delete all of this. So now what we'll do is we'll change this to first number equals, actually, you know what? Because I love my text editor. Seriously, if you're not using Sublime, use Sublime. Uh, number one, and actually we'll change this to number one as well. Okay, so, and is set, brackets, dollar underscore post, square braces, single quotes. Uh, number two, and not empty, that's all fine and well up until the end. And not, you can, by the way, you can also do and like this, but I just prefer to type it out. And not empty, dollar underscore post, square brackets, uh, single quote, number two. 
And then what we'll do is we'll just copy this just for time's sake, paste that down there. Uh, and we will change this to number two and we can go ahead and echo those two out to make sure one and two. So, yep. So it echoed out just fine. So awesome. So now that that is done, we're going to come down here and we're going to create an if statement. So if, uh, num one is equal to remember double equal num two curly braces, echo, same. Else, echo, not the same. So here's what we're gonna do. So the first number will be one, and the second number will be one. Oh, what the heck, number one. Where did I, oh, that's because I named them. Uh, number one and number two, that's why, okay. So now if we reload, okay, so they're the same. So now if we were to do one and two, we get not the same. So now what we can do is we can say if number one is not equal to number two, we can do not the same. And else, same. So number one, number one, same. Uh, we can uh, do one and 12, sure, because I made a typo. Okay, not the same. So now what I want to do, um, let's, uh, let's say if number one is greater than number two, echo. Now here is where the concatenation comes in. Echo num one period, double quote, space is bigger than space again, period, num two. Save that, refresh and make sure we don't have any, oh, reload, make sure we don't have any errors. Okay, so uh, let's do two and one. And I screwed up again. That's because I keep calling them num one and num two. Number, one and number two there we go so now if we reload so two is bigger than one else echo number one oops and you have er one period uh double quote space is smaller than space full stop number two. So now what we want to do is we want to check. Uh, so let's go 10 and 20. So 10 is smaller than 20. So we can uh, flip this around. We can do um, is less than, but we'd have to change our statements around, um, which should be pretty self-explanatory at this point. So that is uh, an introduction into comparison operators, and um, those will come in very handy as you get further into your code. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. I'm trying to upload daily, so definitely subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.